Hi, welcome to Irish Angling Adventures. Uh, basically today we're going to be tying a Clouser Minnow. This is pretty much one of the most well-known saltwater patterns um, out there. This is a, a brilliant fly here in Ireland for sea trout, bass and mainly for pollock. So this would be kind of my go-to pollock fly. It's a very heavy fly so it sinks quick, um, obviously making that ideal for targeting pollock in deeper water. Um, it requires very, very few materials. It's really quick and, and quite simple to tie. Um, so it's an excellent fly for beginners um, or anyone kind of starting off tying saltwater flies. Um, for the materials, um, first off the hook, I like a short shank. Um, I'm going to be tying on a Sakuma 420 here. You can tie in a long shank if you prefer. Um, it's really just personal preference. For the eyes then, uh, you need basically a set of dumbbell eyes. I'm going to be using a four millimeter eyes today. Um, but basically you're just matching the eyes up to the size of the hook um, and obviously you go a little bit larger if you want the fly to fly to sink quicker and make them a bit smaller if you want the fish to fly kind of quite shallow. Uh, then you need your flash. Um, I'm not a massive uh, fan of very flashy flies but you can put as much or as little in as you like. Um, I'm going to just be putting in one or two strands of this uh, crystal flash here. And then the main uh, body of the, the clouser is tied with bucktail. Um, I'm going with an olive and a white so basically just a nice kind of standard sandy limitation um, and that's pretty much it and um, only other thing then is your tread i'm using a gsp tread um here you don't have to you'll get away uh, no problem at all with kind of a 6-0 tread in white um or obviously whatever color you're making the, the belly of the fly now so i'll just uh remove the hook uh, or the the fly and we'll replace with a hook and get started now so we'll just start the tread off right at the eye the hook we're going to work back maybe about kind of five, six mil from the giant hook. Um, and that's basically the point we'll um, attach in our dumbbell eyes. So I'll try and show you this around the, reaching around the camera. So I'm going to basically hold the eyes at kind of a, a 45 degree angle. I'm going to get a, a few wraps basically over one side and then a wrap on the hook just to lock it. And you'll see the eyes are basically sitting here at kind of a an angle across the shank. Then basically to square it up, I'm just going to wrap the opposite way over the other side. Make sure the eyes are kind of sitting on top of the hook and each one of these turns will help to, to bring back the eyes and actually sit them square on the hook like this. Uh, once your eyes are sitting square, basically just get a, a few more wraps onto the, the shank to lock your tread. And then I'm just going to wind the tread underneath the eyes like this pull tight and they'll help cinch the wraps together um, and then if you're worried at this point you can actually put a little drop of super glue um, onto these eyes basically to help them lock in place so just a small bit basically on each side and you can put a little bit underneath as well um, and then just to, to help cover over the, the wet super glue we just get one or two more turns over these eyes and then move the tread right to the the back of the, the eyes here. Um, it's at this point then I'm going to start attaching in my crystal flash. Um, I'm going to just use one strand of it and basically double it over the tread. Um, as I say I don't really like kind of flashy flies but you can use as much flash here as you like. So I'm just going to loop the flash over the tread, put it down and attach it right here at the back and then work my tread all the way back here with touching turns pretty much just back to the bend of the hook. Here and sit back here out of the way um, and then I'm just going to quickly bring the tread back up to the front of the eyes where we're going to be tying in our bucktail so we'll just get a bit of that ready now. Now so my bucktail is starting to look a little bit haggard but still good for a few more flies um, so basically all you want to do is just grab a small clump of your bucktail fibres pull them out to the side and basically Cut them right down near the base. Then you're looking at just kind of cleaning up um, all of the, the fibers here in this bunch. So basically we're going to catch it maybe a little bit more than half of the way down, maybe kind of two thirds of the way down the clump. And then we're going to tease out all of the short fibers, all of the underfur um, and things that we don't want out from underneath. Um, at this point then we will Grab the fibers again right down by the base. This clump actually isn't too bad, but quite often what you'll have is a few fibers that are much, much longer than all of the rest. And um, so basically to stack them and have them kind of more of a uniform length, basically you just 
grab the tips of them, gently tease them out, and then line them back in, kind of in line with the other tips, um, like this. And basically, once you're finished, um, you can basically cut and square up all of the ends here. And then set your clump of bucktail ready to tie in. Now at this point, we'll basically take your bucktail, hold it across again at like a 45 degree angle, get two or three loose turns in like this, and basically you can square it up over the top of the eyes, and then you can actually pull these in to try and get most of the tips to line up here behind the eye of the hook. Um, you'll get one or two little stragglers here uh, sticking out in front, and it's just basically a case of taking them off nice and quick. Once that's done, basically just wrap your thread right back up against the eyes, run it underneath, cinch down to lock these um, fibers in place right behind the eye, and basically keep in pressure, um, pulling the fibers up, start to work your thread all the way back. Again, basically just to where you're getting to the point of the hook. As you start to get kind of two or three wraps right from the back, you want to leave off the pressure and loosen your turns a little bit. Um, basically because if you pull too tight, you're actually going to flare the bucktail and you'll get it to splay out. Um, and because I'm trying to make kind of a sandy limitation here, I want to try and keep it kind of nice low profile. Um, and then basically just to tidy up the fly, you want touching turns running all the way back up. And again, then we'll bring the tread to the front of the eyes and we'll get the olive bucktail ready. Now, and just like with the white, we're just gonna grab a small clump of fibers here. Again, cut them right in near the, the base of the bucktail. And very same then, we're just gonna grab them a little over midway down, pull out all the, the small short fibers and basically under fur from your bunch. And then it's just to stack the hair. So basically again, just grab them down near the tips, pull out all these much longer fibers and basically lie them back in here with your bunch. And you should be left then with a more kind of uniform stack of bucktail here. And just like with the white, it's just a case of squaring off the ends here. And then tying them in. Now at this point then it's the, the very same. So I'm gonna basically get the bucktail, hold it at an angle underneath, get just a couple of loose wraps over the top, and then basically just tease the bucktail to where the ends are basically lining up behind the eye of the hook. I'll just get a few turns in just to tidy this all up. Once I'm done, I'm gonna split my clump of bucktail and bring it each side of the bend of the hook. Again, just keeping a small bit of pressure, pulling down to try and keep everything on one side. I'll then start to wrap back. And again, the last couple of turns, just make sure that they're a little bit loose, just that you don't splay the bucktail too much as you move back along. And then we're just gonna start tidying up the head. So touching turns all the way back down. Basically just getting all of these uh, loose ends right down to the eye, all tidied up. Move back up along. A quick look at your fly, make sure you're happy with the proportions, and then just a whip finish. Hold everything in place. And then, depending on what you prefer, you're using varnish or super glue or even a, a resin, basically just to finish off the head of the fly. And basically then, the last thing is just to Get your crystal flash here, move in and cut it the length. Yeah, and that is basically your clouser minnow. So thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe.